Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Asus Tinkerboard and I'm running Libra Alight. Now this is a very alpha build. This was compiled from source. I'm gonna go into the system information here. Two gigabytes of RAM. We're running at 1920 by 1080 video. We have the Mali T760. And the hardware. As you can see, we have rock chip device tree. So this is the Tinker board. Not sure if the CPU temperature is correct, but I do have a small fan because this build gets the Tinker board CPU burning up. I have some videos pre-installed on a 128 gigabyte USB 3.0 flash drive. Here's a 1080p clip, Big Buck Bunny. So 1080p, 60 FPS runs flawlessly here. This is an MP4. We're gonna go with 4K, 30 FPS. And it runs really well. I'm not sure if you can see it, but at the very bottom there is a thin green line. Now I tested these same videos on the Debian build that they have, version 1.8, and it was same green line there. Some of the videos had a bigger one, some of them had a smaller one. So the 30 FPS 4K MP4 runs great. Now, Asus never said that this could run 4K at 60 FPS, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. This is a 60 FPS 4K MP4 file. So like I said, Asus never claimed that this could run 4K at 60 FPS. The sound was way off and it's pretty much unwatchable. Next up, we have a MKV at 4K. This one also runs very good. If I try to skip ahead in these 4K videos, the whole system freezes up. Now this is just a bug with the Libra Elect build that I'm using. Hopefully in the near future it'll be fixed, but I have to reboot the board now. It boots up fairly quick. Now I'll leave a link down below to where you can download this. You just have to flash it with Etcher or Win32 Disk Imager. I also installed the Exodus add-on because 99% of the people running these Kodi add-ons and boxes will stream movies or TV shows. They don't have a dedicated hard drive set up with all their movies. Let's try this real quick and see how it works. Not going to fast forward any of this, I want you to see how it works in the real world. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the middle, a little past, 
and it buffers out pretty quick. It's good. Streaming, playback, and movies and videos at 720p, 1080p work great on this build. But the board does get hot, like I said, so you need to watch your temps. Use a small fan if you're going to use this build, or just wait a few days, maybe a month, and I'm pretty sure they're going to have full support for this board. It definitely works well with this alpha build. I'm going to test one more movie from my USB drive. This is 4K HEVC X265. I have to turn the sound off for this, but the sound works great. Green line at the bottom. And I notice a little bit at the top up there right now, as you can see it. But the movie plays flawlessly. Now this thing looks amazing on my big 4K TV. This movie in particular here, pretty crazy looking. And it plays it just fine at 30 FPS here. So that's it for this video guys, I just wanted to give you a quick look at this build. It's working pretty good for an alpha build. If you want to try it out, I'll leave a link down below. Like I said, all you need to do is flash it to an SD card using Win32 Disk Imager or Etcher, just like flashing any Raspberry Pi or other single board computer operating system to an SD card. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe, and like always, thanks for watching.